Alright, time for the next installment of the Beginner's Guide series. Today I will be playing some Wukong here into a Hecarim, which eh, should be fine matchup for me really. Hey, like, if he gets out of hand, he gets out of hand, that'd be a little bit of a problem, but for the most part, like, against this enemy team, I have very good engage potential. They have very little escapes, very little mobility, which makes, like, Wukong ults very easy to land, so that's quite nice. And, yeah. About 50 seconds, we're gonna go for the recall here and place the ward at the end of it. So we have the vision if he does try to invade me or something. Probably won't, but it's a good habit. I prefer having this for the most part in the early game anyway. So yeah, you don't need to buy a potion on Wukong, you're pretty healthy. You'll see you're pretty healthy. Nothing to really worry about. You want to save as much money as you can to buy your Tiamat as quickly as possible. Like, for the biggest consistency. You can, like, not go for Tiamat and, like, sacrifice a bunch of jungle clear, but I uh, don't really recommend it. Especially in low elo holy moly, that scared me. Right. This is a bit scary. There's the, there's the entire enemy team, yeah. Ah, uh, well, that's what I guess what we get for uh, no mid coverage from this side, unfortunately. I'll try my best here to cheese out this camp here real quick, at least. You can, like, kind of compensate a little bit by doing this. That's kind of nice. I can avoid smiting and I might even have a chance of taking red buff still. Split the damage here, as you can see, I'm making use of my passive as much as possible. I'm gonna fight him here because I think his bot lane would have left by now and I think I should be okay to win. Whew. Okay. I said I think I should be okay to win and I barely was, but that was scary, my guy. Okay, I can't clear this obviously because I have no HP. This is not the ideal way you want to start, but generally if you are already bot side and they invade like that with like no, no backup, no coverage type deal, you kind of just have to take raptors and live with it. Like it's not ideal, but you kind of don't have a choice. So, it is what it is. Also, in case you're wondering why I'm not buying any items, it's because, well, I don't have the money to buy items. I need a pickaxe at minimum for Tiamat, because that's my first item, so it is what it is. Not, like, the best start here for sure, but I guess it's okay. Stuff like this will happen. At least there I can, like, kind of compensate. If the enemy team is, like, kind of slow enough in doing red buff, you can, like, do raptors in the meantime, and potentially even still steal it. Which could have been nice potentially, but it's okay. Let's actually smite this here. Gonna uh, do the blue and the gromp here to hit level 3 because that with raptors is enough. And then I might be able to pressure for like a gank on mid lane perhaps. Definitely gonna go for like the scuttle. We're looking at mid lane here as well since he is very far pushed out. Can't really go top lane here. The Mordekaiser is practically under his turret. Very good solo kill. Guess I don't have to go mid lane then. That's a little unfortunate because that would have been very beneficial to me if like I would have been able to do that. But, you know. I guess Mordekaiser's wave is pushing out so I should be able to go top here. Base rush proc. I think I'm dead here but I think it's worth the kill. This should be an easy kill for Garen. Oh, he's a bit scared. Okay, that's fine. The kill is 100% worth it because it gives me enough gold for the TMN. It's like straight up. Like, it's just very good to get right there. Also, it's an assist there, so I'd happily trade that for the TMN purchase. So I'm actually not completely screwed um, at the current stage in the game with that early invade and stuff. Generally, if you just go for like a nice full clear, which is what I would usually recommend. It, like, especially lower elos. You could like look for early ganks and such you want to but lower elos like full clearing is just amazing and then from there you can kind of play you know he's probably doing rap though this scuttle here he's not interesting he doesn't he hasn't recalled yet so he can't fight me at this point i'm just gonna take the scuttle real quick be okay with that yeah but uh, trading a kill like that when you're especially when you're playing a champ that does benefit quite a bit from tm at early and especially with an, like a bad start like i had where it's just like, I mean, sure, I killed the Hecarim, but still, like, I'm very far behind on experience, which is obviously not great. Um, yeah. You can use your clone here to tank as well. Uh, actually, Wukong's abilities, I don't think I've set this yet, but... Um, clone gives you a slight dash, invisible for a bit. Clone attacks with you, which does a significant amount of damage, or, like, a, a certain amount of damage, as you see. 
It scales up to more points you put into it, so that's why you max it second. Max Q first, because you don't need uh, like E for clear speed or anything. E is just a dash you can use. Okay, okay, the Casio rotation seemed to have paid off slightly, it seems, actually. I should be able to uh, kill the Hecarim here. Perfect, clean up kill. Not bad at all, very good. I cannot go for Dragon here, I don't think. It would be a bit much, because this bot lane needs to recall. They have a lot of gold in their inventory. It's just not a play. Slightly shove out the wave, I hope, a little faster. Okay, I've, I, I was about to say, like, he's going to hit 6 soon, and if I try to fight or keep fighting him, I'm dead. I could go top lane here. The only way this play works is if he engages and Mordecai just presses ult on him, which he should. There it is. As long as Mordecai now doesn't kill him, before I get there, we should be good. I'm never going to get the kill on that, am I? I might. No, I'm not going to. That's really annoying. Oh, man. The, the fact that he walked up instead of down, to tr like, to deal with that. Because if he would have, like, walked down towards me, he would have still died. But at least I would have been able to pick up the Mordecai. So at this point, I had to run all the way across. And I didn't get to pick up the kill. Why are you pushing? Because otherwise the wave, the wave freezes outside of turret and that would be bad for you. I can, I'm just going to ask him that question back. Because like, stupid questions are rewarded with stupid questions. Because now the wave is bouncing back to him. Which is actually better for the Garen. Also, for me right there, getting that uh, experience from the wave is necessary. Because I am not in a good game state at the moment, honestly. Yeah. The top lane play should have at least been a one for one, but unfortunately it wasn't. Because I had to run a massive distance, but pretty much forced my abilities already. So I couldn't really clean up the Mordekaiser that much. That's a dragon, that's fair enough. Show me the path. Gonna finish this clear here, and then I should be in an okay position, I think. Yes, you should probably be careful on mid. Like, we, she has to deal with Varus ult, but also, like, Hecarim can come in from the side and stuff. I'm gonna kite this up here so I can, like, prop, like potentially avoid any type of play. With the Hecarim coming from that side. I need to hit level 6 before I try for a gank. I'm gonna mute this Garen right now. He's starting to, like, like beg for ganks, but, like, after what he just did, I just... I don't. I don't care. I need to just get my jungle cleared here. Keep consistent. We see like a nice control art on bot lane here. We see a nice bot lane gank. Two level five people there. Quite nice. Gonna dash in here. Good enough. Reach him there. All right, decent, not bad. I think the Skull at this point is a bit optimistic, if it's still up even, like, I don't think it's feasible. So I'm just gonna go for this, then I'll recall, then I can potentially look for the top gank, maybe, we'll see. And uh, we can move from there. Necro mid, came from both sides, so he definitely did like that Scuttle, probably. He's... Okay, okay, not bad, Cassio, good kill. He's definitely dead here, but at least he got one kill out of it. Not bad. Okay, let's go for... Uh, let's just go for Sunder pieces, really. And buy all this, that's fine. They should not be dying to this, as long as Twitch doesn't walk forward here. I can definitely, like, look top in this situation. As long as the Garen, like, kind of plays it with me, it should be fine. I will die if I get ulted by Mordekaiser, though, so I'm gonna have to, like, kind of play it a little bit clever, I'd say. I think he just warded River. Every mistake. Means my only optional gank would be a lane gank, but he's currently freezing the wave, so that's not gonna happen. Looks like we're doing Gromp. Oh, 
Now the wave's pushing back into the turret. Yeah, it's just, just a Gromp scuttle angle. Which he might try to steal because he might be tilted, perhaps. Or he wants to do Herald. Okay, that's fine as well. We'll do Herald with him in a second. Okay, he just... Well, I guess I'll do Herald then. I don't know why he wouldn't just help me at this point since he's already here, but... Interesting. I'm looking like okay-ish. This def this early game is definitely very scuffed, but it's okay. Get this, and then I suppose I'll just go mid. I have ult. I don't think Varus has flash, so we can just get in from a pretty good angle here, hopefully. Wait a little bit. This minion is going to die. Nope. Waited too long there, perhaps. Yeah, this is not good. I'm going to run up here. Oh, don't try to fight that. Oh, well, actually, he might get it. I should be able to clean this up. Wait a little bit with my W use. That's a double kill for me. He could have, like, potentially played that a lot better towards me. By just running towards me in that direction, if that makes sense. But he did not. He, he, he tried to just burst the other guy out. Max W second here. And I'm just going to use the Herald for gold, honestly, at this point. Get a bunch of money out of this. This this type of gold is like game winning gold. This is gonna be this is gonna make me absolutely rich. It's a TP. Okay, sure. Don't finish a turret here because that last plate like takes a tremendous amount of damage to kill. It's very tanky. I would never have been able to finish that off. 175 armor, but I have 3,000 gold now. Based on that, just that one thing right there, this is huge. I need, I'm, I'm just going to take the blue here and I'm instantly going to back and then run towards Dragon. Okay, very good. I got my Sunderer here. Uh, I'm going to get myself some Steel Caps here as well. And then we build towards Cleaver next, I suppose. It's either, at this point, it's either you go for Cleaver or you go for this thing, the Spear of Shojin. Um, if they have enough armor, then Cleaver is the better option. If they are very squishy, then Shoujin is better. And it might look like Shoujin ends up being better here. I don't know why Twitch is on bot lane still. That's not good. I'm going to be too late for this now. Unfortunately. I'm sneaking from behind here. I don't know. I feel like the... I feel I don't know what happened exactly to the Twitch, but I feel like he kind of just like stood very far behind. Walk in here. Oh, that still hit me. Damn it, Swain, you lucky rat. I should be able to get this guy actually. I'll take it. Okay. Oh no, it's not okay, dude. Uh dude, I thought I wasn't worth a shutdown. I actually prefer trading one for ones. Um. When I, like, when I'm not worth a shutdown, but I was worth a shutdown, so I'm stupid. Like, the entire dive became, like, straight up completely terrible the second I realized I was worth a shutdown. I should never have dove that. Because I'm I'm trading 300 gold for 500 gold at that point, and that simply just isn't worth it. Whereas 300 for 300, I would still be okay with, especially on, like, Wukong, because the champion skills like an absolute monster. Like, late game team fights on this champion, which you will see happen, like, relatively soonish. You will see what I mean. But... Yeah. On scaling champions, trading one for one, like one for ones like that, I am more than happy with. But not when I'm worth way more gold, so that's definitely a mistake on my end. I wonder what happened to the Twitch, though. Like, I wonder if he was actually just walked up to the wave and started farming that instead. Because that could be the case. Um, I just kind of suicided, unfortunately. I should be able to, like, sneak in here, maybe. I'm gonna walk in from the bot side here. Get a nice stab dash. Get this guy. Coming from a side where I can, like, clean them up, you know. You got it. Oh. Fine. Okay, cool. I will just go mid lane, I think. 9 and 2. Doing pretty well. That last death there was not very smart, but it is what it is. Okay.
stay ahead of him there. Ah, uh, but my bot lane, please, man, just help me out here. He's gonna be here somewhere. There he is. Thank God. He, thank God he reacted to that. I don't know what Lulu planned with that move there. I, I, yeah. Okay, interesting. It's okay. Very good. Like we saw the hacker and go for that mid. We just counter it. I will go bot lane here. Let me finish my red buff off real quick, and then we'll move over. We, dude. Ah, uh, well, with me, I guess. That's really unfortunate because I can't play around this either. I don't think. I can clear the wave, I suppose. It should be fine. I'll just get the XP here, no problem. If my Twitch would have waited, we could have potentially gone for some type of play there, but he kind of just died before I got the chance to get there, unfortunately. It's okay, we'll just go back. We have the spear here, because I'm actually going to pick this up. They're not that tanky. The spear is great here. So we'll pick this up now. Next item will be the Hydra. Uh, but yeah, the spear slash Black Cleaver is just really good in that slot right there. That's what I'm going to be picking up right now. I'm looking at this Rift Herald. I've lost two dragons. The first dragon, sure. The second dragon, I probably shouldn't have lost. And maybe I could have also recalled a bit faster myself, but I feel like my team should have been able to prevent that a little bit better. But that could also be my mistake. Dude, that's hot. I feel like there's going to be some type of counter gank going on here. good thank fuck oh my god dude that dude has his jock show finish he is scary as hell holy moly okay hecarim is bolt so that gives me the chance to take the rift herald here that's good i am gonna lose this other dragon now though oh damn it yeah rip me i suppose Done. This Mordekaiser is strong as hell. I'm down on a dragon here, so that's three dragons to them. That's not good. Definitely a bit of a problem this game. I don't know, my Twitch Lulu seem to be very prone to just walking in and dying, which is a bit of a problem right now. I feel like there's a lot of situations where they just had the information and they really shouldn't have died, but still died. Those types of... I mean, it's gonna happen, I suppose, but yeah. Kinda sucks overall, you know? Oh, this guy's gonna show up here. I don't know if I kill this camp fast enough before he gets in vision range. Oh no. Oh god. Fine. Use it on mid lane here, I suppose. Oh, come on. It should get the bounce at least, which is all I really care about. I'm just gonna run bot lane. Dude. The amount of deaths, man. I'm, like, I don't know what's going on on bot lane here exactly. Throw it dead. What am I gonna do about this? Like, actually... That's a good kill. This guy should not be able to deal with me here. Why would you walk back into the play, Lulu? Come on, man. Oh. Why are you taking my camp? What is this? I don't know. Like, Lulu was out. She was completely out. And then she just walked back in the die. I just don't get it. I don't know what I'm witnessing right now. This is really annoying. Because those types of, like, kill returns they should never be getting. I mean, I... It makes me understand how they got that far ahead. And how my bot lane keeps dying. But it's like... My lord, you know, okay. I lost probably all my topside camps, actually, didn't I? Yeah. Fair enough to the hacker room for doing that right there. 
I literally just clicked smite at pretty much the exact same second he did. Ah, he's dead. Cassio's also dead because she's going to stick in this thing, probably. I'm going to recall here because I have way too much gold. I can't afford to stay on the map there. Pick up the Hydra here. And I'm probably going to have to go and build myself a nice Maw here. Because the magic resist is going to be very necessary. Magic damage from this, magic damage from this, magic damage from Swain. This item is going to be very, very good. This is going to be a very, very difficult game to win, I think. But we're going to try our best. Uh, I think if he's not careful, he's going to die soon. He's very far up there with no type of vision, so... I mean, he has one, like, ward on Raptors, but that really doesn't do anything for him, you know? You got it. For this right now, I just kind of have to keep consistent as much as I can. Try to look for some picks here and there, ideally. I really do not want to give this dragon. That's, like, the last thing I want to do right now. Giving up this dragon would be really bad, because that's just a Drake soul. I mean, you can understand why that's bad, probably, but, you know. Okay. I should, they should walk into me right here, right? Just try to stop. Block that uh, Varus ult with my W. I'm pretty sure he was going to ult me, so that's why I did that. Good. Ah. It's good enough for me, really. Clean that up. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, God, please don't kill me for this. this sh I should be okay now. After that W, I think I'm fine. Whew. That Mordekaiser should, should have ulted me. Like, he literally straight up should have ulted me. Hey, this is Jock show up. I'm not doing that. As you can see, what I'm doing right now is I'm mainly just looking for any type of pick I can get. We have this coming up in like 54 seconds. I have to jungle a bit here. This thing I can recall for. So I'm going to recall right now. We cannot give soul. That would be really bad. Let's kind of control right here as well. He has teleport, but he needs... To... Oh, okay, well. If more guys are going to stop, actually, that could be good. Uh, she's recalling very late here. This recall timing for Cassio is a problem. Because of she, because the fact that she's so late, that creates issues for us. Because now she's not going to be here for a fight, you know? Shut down. Oh, she cancelled her own ultimate instantly. I should be fine in fight, winning this fight here. Got my Q off because of the additional range, but because Garen died top lane, I still lose Dragon, I think. I'm never beating him in a 1v1 here. My best chance to survive is just having this. At least he doesn't get the Baron or Dragon, I think. But yeah, the Garen should... Oh man, this stinks. I wonder if he's going to go for this. I healed myself just enough of that camp to where I think this is fine. Please, please don't do that. Please just walk up to the dragon, I beg. He's not doing... Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. This should be fine. He doesn't have ult, right? Surely. be asked man i just what is this oh that mordekaiser is tanky as hell i had to focus the misfortune first there uh which a uh, twitch might get this actually Ooh, please tell me he wins that that's fingers crossed type of yeah no he loses that i figured he would lose that damn it jesus christ uh, i'm gonna have to get a cleaver here otherwise i never in my life get through mordekaiser uh, it's just Drake's whole goal. And the problem here is that it's a mountain dragon as well, and I already struggled killing them, so now it's going to be even worse. And with them, I just mean Mordekaiser mostly. That's who gets that kill. Yeah, it sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. 
my best bet is just to ignore the Mordekaiser as much as possible and try to kill like the Misfortune, uh, like the Hecarim potentially. They're all easy kills. Uh, Mordekaiser just isn't. I need to ignore him in the fights. I need to get my Ravenous stacks back up as well now. It's a bit of a spicy one. That, that Dragon Soul is definitely a problem. Use my, my my backup thing there with the clone to ult him. Good kill. That's what we like to see. Garen's putting pressure on top now. I need to avoid this the Mordekaiser at all costs. I might have a chance of doing something as like... Um, if the Mordekaiser ult someone else. But if he ult someone else, he would be trolling. So I would not think that's going to happen. If I can get myself a cleaver, I should be able to... Uh, Actually, we might be able to Baron here. Oh, God. He's going to ult me. Yep. Okay, now we're just going to have to stall out a fight. Towards that one. Perfect. Let's go Baron. Could have enough lifesteal for this to be fine. What I do there is I just kite that dude out as much as I physically can. Like, stall with W, stall with everything I got. Use my W here to get extra damage hits on the Baron. Very good. Up over this way. Good. And I should be able to clean this up at least. That's whatever. That's the best thing I was going to get out of that one, I think. Take the recall. Actually, I shouldn't take the recall. That would be a troll move. I need to finish the turret when I have the chance, I think. Please. Like, actually, please. Like, I don't think Twitch is going to be using that one a lot. This is fine. I do not want to fight Mordekaiser here. We're just going to take a nice back. Should allow me to get my cleaver here as well. He is leaving the red buff for me. That's good. Pick up the cleaver. Pick up a red bolts here. Good. And then we take out the red buff as well. Okay, he is stacking even more armor right now. The cleaver is definitely needed. There is a potential that I consider selling my maw, but I don't know. I'm considering it because I kind of want stone plate perhaps that could be quite nice for extra armor but i could sell my boots technically that's what i was looking for hello varus good varus flash down i figured someone would be walking in from the side there which ended up working out for me he ults me that's fine just gonna stall him as long as possible once again. This time I also have extra extra armor penetration, so that's good. Very good. Got my dash in a second here. With the Shojin and all the abilities I have, I practically get my Q down in like instantly. And I think I won the game here. Whew, close one, not bad. Alright, that is it for Wukong. If you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to hit the like button below. And we'll move on to the endgame stats now. All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 40.6k damage, which is by far the most here. Very, very solid. Um, true damage to champions at 1700, which is pretty much just the smite damage. Damage to objectives at 35.1k. Still did a pretty good amount of objectives. I'm pretty sure I got both heralds. But those dragons, man, they were a problem this game. Like, uh, yeah, pretty difficult situation to deal with those. But I trade as much as I can, at least with heralds for those. Do not fall too far behind. And, well, you see the result, I suppose. Healing done at about 10k, pretty good. Damage taken at 40k here, very, very solid. I took the most in the entire game, yeah, by four. Uh, actually, that's not true. He took a little bit more. Wait. Oh, I definitely took more. I, I, dude, I had, my, I had my nine and my six messed up. I was like, I took 
36 point well, whatever i took more damage cool self mitigate is going to be through the roof for this guy though because of his jack show so he probably took more damage overall but still pretty good self mitigated on my end gold earned at 20.4k uh, for the runes conquer healed me for about 1600 but also the adaptive damage is a massive stat here that you don't see i lost time for an extra 1100 damage just relevant additional damage uh, we have triumph for 2500 healing and 620 gold boots for free boots and then the futures market only had one purchase this game because there were just certain amount of gold i was backing with but that one purchase like can this can be extremely important in a game like let's say i would have like 100 gold short of a tiamat for example that, that would not be good um having futures market for those early tiamat purchases is very very solid it's going to allow you for a very consistent one in that and yeah it also helps of course with other spikes other items you can start buying stuff with it if you want to it just didn't uh, provide a massive amount of use for me this game specifically but it can definitely definitely benefit you a lot in like other games or in general like early tiamat all that type of deal you know so yeah good rune to take regardless but that is it for wukong i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video bye